Hey everyone. I got a really unique idea just randomly come to my mind today while I was just like looking at Pokemon cards like I always do. Um, the Scarlet and Violet era is filled with many beautiful illustrations of Pokemon, some that you would never even expect. Such as like a Pokemon like Magmi, for example. Just off the top of my head, I can think of these really random, obscure Pokemon that have received, you know, some love in the terms of art rares like uh, Torkoal or uh, Chimeco or, you know, like even some other ones like, um, let me think off the top of my head. Starly, you know, Starly is kind of a weird Pokemon to get a card that's cool. Um, but these are Pokemon that I feel like deserve illustration rare or special illustration rare cards in the Scarlet and Violet era. So I'll, I'll be showing off some Pokemon who I feel like deserve a little bit of love uh, from the Pokemon company in the Scarlet and Violet era. I'll be breaking this down in three generations. I'll be taking this down into the first generation, third generation, well, I guess first, second, and third, obviously. Um... Yeah, just starting off with Gen 1, it says, here's some Gen po 1 Pokemon who I feel are underloved or just not represented too well. Uh, as the criteria for this list is just some more underrated Pokemon. Um, not always super underrated, but I just Pokemon that I feel like deserve some love. Um, Gen 1 Pokemon are pretty popular, so there won't actually be a lot of Pokemon here. Uh, firstly, I have Tentacruel and Tentacool. Uh, I think that these Pokemon are pretty cool. Um, now that Toadscrawl is in existence, I think it makes less sense for them to give them something, as they gave uh, Toadscrawl an art rare already. But Tentacool and Tentacruel are still pretty cool Pokemon. I think that they deserve something. And, you know, they've, they've been here since Gen 1. They've never received anything above a Hollow or non-Hollow. Um, so I think that they would, you know, do great as an art rare form. Um, something like uh, the Blastoise from 151, Underwater, like in the Depths, or the Wiglet from Scarlet and Violet Basa, surrounded by a bunch of other Pokemon, I think it would look really great. And yeah, that's my uh, Justice for Tentacruel and Tentacruel. Tentacruel and Tentacool, sorry. Number two, uh, I have Venomoth. Venomoth received a GX card a while ago, uh, but that was all the way back, you know, a long time ago, like five or six years ago at this point. Um... I think that this Pokemon is cool enough to have a basis for a nice illustration. It's probably one of the most underappreciated Pokemon in all of Generation 1. I feel like nobody ever talks about Venomoth or Venonat. Uh, for that matter, they both, you know, I feel like they could make for a good art rare, and, and they've never received anything above uh, the GX that I was talking about. And their GX isn't that amazing. It's not like the best card ever created. Um, so it'd be cool to see something new for them. And Gen 2. So I think that Generation 2 is filled with a lot more Pokemon who are uh, underrated or haven't received a lot um, a lot of love. Even though the Generation is small, we still have a lot like to see from the Generation 2 Pokemon, so um, I hope we see some more. Uh, firstly, I have Chikorita, Bayleaf, and Meganium. So these are starter Pokemon, which I think is kind of crazy because their last appearance was in Sun and Moon Lost Thunder, which was all the way back in 2018. Uh, this thing deserves something. It deserves some kind of illustration. I always thought it would receive an illustration by an artist like Yoriyuki Ikigami, who created the Venusaur from 151. I feel like a card like that would be uh, gorgeous, and people would really appreciate Meganium a little bit more. It's just not a Pokemon who gets a lot of love, which is kind of unfortunate because I think it deserves a little bit more love. You know, even they could give like an art rare to Chikorita or Bayleaf. They don't only have to be specifically Meganium. Um, it's received old school EX cards in the past, but that was about it. It has a Prime card as well, um, but that's it. Meganium deserves a little bit more, and you know it's a starter, so I'm surprised that we haven't seen it in six years. That's crazy. And next one, I have Chinchu and Lantern. So these two Pokemon received a Prime card in the past, but haven't really received anything other than an on Hollow and a Hollow. Um, I like I said earlier with Tentacruel and Tentacool, I think that this Pokemon would make for a really cool underwater card, especially, you know, Chinchou and Lantern because they have that giant lantern on them. Um, something a little bit more edgy, you know, in the deep depths with this lantern eliminating a small area would be a really cool idea. Um, and I think that the Pokemon deserves something. And next I have Zatu. Uh, Zatu has been seeing some love recently with a pre-release promo and a baby shiny and multiple prints of the same card. I still feel like seeing an illustrated version of this very interesting, unique Pokemon would be something that I'd personally like to see. I think that this Pokemon has a lot of nicer illustrations, like specifically like the Neo Discovery um, uh, Zatu first comes to mind. Um, and I think that this Pokemon is just a, has a really interesting design and has a basis for some pretty cool designs, especially like the Versus card. I think that's one of my favorite Zatu cards, and just one of my favorite cards in general because it's such a nice artwork. I'm pretty sure that one is by Kagemaru Arahimeno. We have a Wobbuffet here. So in the past, Wobbuffet received nothing more than a full art V. This card is from Versus, and it never even released in English, so unfortunately you don't really have this card, and I think it looks like a really cool looking card. Um, but yeah, that was all the way back in Sword and Shield base set almost three years ago. I think this Pokemon deserves something in the upcoming Team Rocket set because it is one of those original Team Rocket Pokemon. Uh, I have some hope left out in me still for Wobbuffet. I think it's a really cool Pokemon. It's just a little bit of love. Now we're on to Gen 3. 
uh, Gen 3 Pokemon are vast, but there are actually many Pokemon from this generation that I hold dearly, and hopefully I can share some cool designs who I feel deserve a little bit more love in the TCG. Firstly, we have Beautifly and Wormpool. So I'd totally be okay with some kind of Wormpool art rare. Um, you know, if Caterpie can get one, Wormpool can get one too. Um, I like Wormpool a lot. I think he's a really cool looking bug. But Beautifly is really beautiful. Um, Beautifly is just an underrated bug type Pokemon. It reminds me a little bit of Butterfree, but I still think that it's unique enough to be considered a friend. A nice sunset theming with a flock of this Pokemon flying in the background or through the setting sun would make for a captivating artwork. I think like anything like this card, one from the debut card from Ruby and Sapphire base set, uh, I think you could really do something like that for this Pokemon and it'd be awesome. Next, I have a Swallow and Taillow. So these two regional birds actually don't get a lot of love, and I'm actually not sure why. Uh, their designs are elegant and sleek. I like how, like, thin they are. I just like their designs overall. I think some nice illustration with uh, elegant themes uh, could totally work. Um, and I think that they've only ever received hollows and non-hollows, so they really haven't gotten anything other than that. And they have existed since Gen 3, so that's a long time. Surskit and Masquerade, I think another Pokemon who's only ever received non-holo and uh, holo cards. This Gen 3 Pokemon is certainly unique, and I really do like its unique and interesting design. Surskit could totally work too. If you made a cute artwork for that thing, skidding on the water or something like that, it could enter relevancy in an instant, because that Pokemon is pretty cute. Then I have Shedinja, and I just said, yeah, I know that there are a lot of bug types on this list, but Shedinja has actually not received enough love from the po Oh, sorry. I know that there are a lot of bug types on this list, but Shedinja has really not received enough love from the Pokemon TCG. The most recent card that he received was all the way back in Vivid Voltage, which is almost three years ago. He always has these really cool desolate settings with like a setting moon, and I think it's a super interesting idea for a card. Something like that, but in a full art form, could make for a really awesome looking illustration rare card. And then finally, I think this is the final one, Cacturn. Uh, Cacturn is a Pokemon who hasn't seen relevancy in a long time, as I start to notice with a lot of these Gen 3 Pokemon. He has an EX, but that's about all he ever got. Imagine a group of Cacturn looking down out of the camera in a craggy desert with some cactuses around. I think that would not only be a menacing card, but just a cool design. And speaking of cool designs, I think Cacturn is really unique. It's a cool Gen 3 Pokemon, not a lot of love, but it is a really cool Pokemon. Oh, I actually do have one or two more, actually. Zangoose and Zviper. So this is the first ever card of Zviper, and I think it encapsulates perfectly what Zviper is. It's in constant battle with Zangoose, and it's just a really cool-looking Pokemon. This art... Oh my gosh. This illustration by Hajime Kusajima really illustrates how, you know, like, menacing these fights are and how intense they get. I think a cool snake like this who battles with a dope-looking mongoose is a really cool idea. I think I would like to see artwares for both of them. I think they both deserve it at this point, and it'd make for a really cool dichotomy between the two Pokemon. Anyways, I think that's where I'm going to cut the video off. But there really are so many undervalued and underutilized, not just Gen 4 Pokemon, but Gen 3 Pokemon, Gen 2 Pokemon, and even some Gen 1 Pokemon. I think we need to see some more representation for some of them. Tune in next time, where I talk about Gens 4 to 6 of Pokemon, who I think need some more love. If you guys enjoyed the video and want to see the next video, the next... If you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see the next part, just leave a comment and let me know what Pokemon you think deserve an art rare and illustration rare in the Scarlet and Violet era. If you enjoyed, leave a like, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.